Well, a big section of Ugandans believe that we are not supposed to be celebrating the Independence Day because of issues like abductions and other human rights violations committed by President Museveni's government. And Kenyan President William Ruto agrees with General Mohozi Kanerugaba on the proposal of having his father Museveni as the president of the East African community. So that goods, services and people can move across this East Africa without any impediments. That and much more is coming up in the stories, making headlines in the country this morning. A very good morning. How are you doing today? My name is Melad Milo, a.k.a. Fula, and uh, I'm welcoming you back from the weekend that I hope it was fantastic for you. And in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. <music> Now, Kenyan President Dr. William Ruto Samoy has backed Jeno Mohozi Kanerugaba's proposal for President Museveni to become the leader of the East African community. Last week, in one of Jeno Mohozi Kanerugaba's tweets, he said, After we create our East African Federation, President Museveni will be president, Afande Ruto will be vice president, my brother Uhuru will be foreign affairs minister. I just want to be the CDF of the East African forces. Now, yesterday, Kenyan President Dr. William Ruto Samoe was in the country at the 60th Independence Day celebrations and he publicly expressed backing for President Museveni to lead the East African integration. William Ruto said President Museveni has a great experience, making it clear to him that he's the right man to lead the East African community. As leaders and as citizens of the East Africa region, for us to work together so that we can transform our borders which today stand out as barriers and convert them to bridges so that goods, services and people can move across this East Africa without any impediments. Now, President Museveni again fired at the European Union Parliament, saying that there is absolutely nothing that's going to stop the East African Pipeline project, describing the whites as arrogant people. East Africa, therefore, should not worry about those arrogant people, that those arrogant people can stop the oil project in East Africa. If any actor tries to delay our project, we shall decisively deal with that betrayal according to the relevant laws. Meanwhile, Tanzanian President Her Excellency Samia Suluhu did not attend the celebrations. She delegated Zanzibar President Hussein Mwinyi. According to reports, Tanzanian President missed because of the fracas around the oil pipeline project. Now, in Koboko District, a man has been shot dead after he attempted to take away a gun from a police officer on duty at the Uganda Revenue Authority office. He was only identified as Vincent Ngota from Koboko. The 26-year-old was shot dead by a UPDF officer deployed at the same station. The time when we have sit here, we see a certain man there pretending to make a shoes. After that, he just picked a, a hammer and knocked that police in the head. UPDF ran after him when he has taken the gun. They have shoot him died. And the security is working to the nail to see at the aim of this boy, whether he was insane or he had other motives of taking the gun from our army, our army officer. Well, there you go. Uh, that's the sound of uh, the eyewitness. And, uh, you know, that last voice is for the deputy RDC Koboko district. <laughs> 
While President Museveni and his guests were in Kololo celebrating the Independence Day, the opposition members of parliament from His Excellency Bobby Wine's camp, that is NUP, were in Masaka castigating and criticizing his government. They said Ugandans cannot celebrate Independence Day when we still have issues like abductions, you know, torture, a lot of corruption, and other serious issues in the country. <laughs> Well, there you go. That is a section of opposition members of parliament from His Excellency Bobby Wine's camp, NUP, speaking yesterday in Masaka. Now, recently, I reported to you about His Excellency Bobby Wine's supporter, Yusuf Chigundu, who was kidnapped by armed men in Luero. Now, after several hours of illegal detention and torture, he was dropped in a trench as he explains. <laughs> Well, Yusuf Chigundu, you should thank God you're back alive. Otherwise, it's on record some people have been kidnapped and up to now, they have never been seen again. Yeah, so you really need to thank God for that. Anyway, that's the latest update I have for you this Monday morning. And uh, in case you have anything on your mind, just put it down in the comment section. And most importantly, subscribe in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller. It's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.